Hi, this is Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guides to Vegas Movie Studio 15 Platinum as well as DVD Architect. And here we are in Vegas Movie Studio 15 Platinum looking at some of the cool new features in the program. Now, one new feature that was added really didn't have anything similar to it existing in the program in previous versions. You could do some basic panning and cropping by going to the end of any video event clicking on the event pan crop tool and doing some panning and cropping using this tool. And over on the track effects, if you go into the hamburger menu, you see that there's track motion and combining these two, you could sometimes do some cropping of your video within a video frame, but it was always kind of clunky. It was never quite as intuitive as it should be. The new crop effect though, makes it very, very easy and very intuitive to do a crop to your video. To locate the crop effect or to apply the crop effect, I can either go to the end of the event and click on the effects button, or I can simply go over here to the upper left of the interface and go to the video effects tab. And from video effects, select crop. As with all effects, there are a couple of presets. We're just going to choose the default and drag it down onto the clip. I'm going to widen out the panel so we got some room to work just by dragging on the bottom of it. And I could do my cropping a number of ways. I could use these little sliders here. I could toggle open location and change the location. Or I can, once the crop effect is selected here in the video event effects panel, I can actually do my cropping right on the preview window by grabbing on these little control handles that appear. Makes it very intuitive to do a crop. So if I wanted to begin, say, with a close up of this man's face, I can crop real tight on him. Now, notice that cropping does not actually change the size or shape of your video frame. It only changes the size or shape of the event or the video within that frame. So in other words, if I had a video on a track below this, you would actually see the video outside of my cropped video, right? You'll be able to see videos on the tracks below your crop. So we're only changing the size and the shape of the video that we've actually got the effect applied to. That said, we can also apply animation to our video effect, as you could with any video effect. And when you apply animation, we can create sort of a, a transition. As I show you in my book, every video effect has the potential to be used as a transition. So I'm going to just toggle on the animation for all of these settings. And then I'm going to widen out my keyframe controller just by dragging on the top here so I have access to all of those changes in effects. So this is our starting point. Our playhead is at the very beginning of the clip. This is our starting point for our little transition. And we'll move the playhead in just about a second or so. And then I'm going to change these. And I can change these either by moving the control handles like this, or I can simply go up here to the preset drop down and select default. And that should give me my little transition. Let's close this panel. We're beginning like this. Let's go ahead and click the playhead and see how my transition from a cropped image into a full screen view of this uh, video looks. Widens out very nicely. We've created a nice, interesting transition into a scene using the crop effect, something that would have been very difficult to do using the old tools in the program possible, but not nearly as easy as it is with the new crop effects tool. If you want to know more about all the new tools that are available here in Vegas Movie Studio 15, I hope you'll check out the many tips and tutorials we have here at moviepicks.com. And if you want to know everything about the program, including a number of tips and tricks for using the program most efficiently, be sure to check out the moviepicks.com guide to Vegas Movie Studio 15 Platinum, as well as DVD Architect. They are available at the Movie Pick store as well as amazon.com. I'm Steve Grizzetti. Hope to see you again real soon.